Burr. Burr is right. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to our channel. How are you guys doing? Well, we are in the middle of an ice storm out here in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. um, it's We got white stuff all over the ground, but it's not exactly snow. It's little tiny granules of ice. Yes. And earlier today, um, everyone tells me that it's called sleet and that it was sleeting. And yep. so there's lots and lots of little tiny granules of ice everywhere. I hear that Arkansas actually has activated the National Guard to help out in certain areas of the state because of this extreme weather that we're going through. The it's, roads are all super icy and um, being in the south, it's not something that we typically get all the time. No. So. And it's, uh, yeah. it's quite a bit. I mean, this is, uh, this is a lot. Yeah. And this is why we went yesterday driving around instead of today. <laughs> yes. Because we knew it, we've seen the forecast. We are on the weather in our area, like no tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, we knew that today was going to be the big, big day. E. Find what you're looking for. Yeah. All right. Should have everything I need now. All right. You ready? Yep. Woo! Burr. It's warm in that tent, at least. Yeah. It looks pretty outside, though, guys. Everything's covered in those nice white little crystals. Um, it looks very pretty. It's very mm -hmm. cold, though. Burr. Oh, burr is right. Yeah. It's going to be... Uh, nice and cold for the next couple of days pretty much all week all week yep. this ice and what's on the top of our basement the floor for the cabin is just covered in ice yeah we're walking over there i'll show you guys here in one second <sighs> it's just like man <laughs> hey i'm i'm happy with it it gets us to do other things like this that we needed to get done yeah it gives us good time to uh you know re-strategize and you know, we're gonna have to get all this ice up and off this floor again, though. Yeah. Huh? I'm not looking forward to. I know, I know. <laughs> so yesterday, Gary did start putting in the transfer switch so we can hook up the generator straight to the basement and have power in there. Granted, we won't be able to power everything, but we'll be able to power almost everything. So almost. he's got the transfer switch already in the wall of the zip board system, and he's got this wire already coming out and good to go. So now, what are you gonna do, baby? Break off this ice first. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of ice. It's a little thick. That's nuts. So, I got this guy already loose for me because I knew I was gonna be working on it. And I just held off because it started raining and then it started sleeting like no tomorrow. And I was just like, okay. I'll come at you at another day. And that and was here yesterday. We are. Yeah. Here's, here's the next day. <laughs> yeah. Pop that guy. And look at how much ice is up here on top of uh, the flooring slash roofing, whatever. It's um, it's solid, guys. It's solid. So does that wire go directly to our box? So this is what's gonna be plugged into our generator. So once I get this set up, I'll take you inside and show you exactly what's going on in there. But in order for the power from the generator to get to our transfer switch, we have to have a place to plug it in. So, and with this transfer switch, we this was a, a special or uh, this doesn't normally come with it I bought this one with it to where it was a they've got like multiple different kits that you can buy so they had one where this wire came with it but I wasn't sure on the length and I don't want to buy it and then be like that's too small because originally what this thing calls for is actually 10 gauge I'm not using 10 gauge I said no that seems a little small so I went ahead and did 8 gauge <laughs> I could have probably did 6 but I was worried about the back end not being able to plug in so now we should be able to plug this guy in this is going to be a tight fit but that's how I made it 
Full disclosure, friends, we are not electricians. We are DIYing this. If you're going to do anything that we're doing for yourself, do it at your own risk and always contact a professional before you attempt anything, especially electricity, because you could fry yourself and that would be bad. I accept no responsibility over your actions. This is my action. I claim full responsibility over my own. <laughs> as it should be, my love, as it should be. Yes. I like using this flat, uh, this flexible PVC EMT stuff versus the gray EMT. You got a lot more maneuverability. And then I'll put a clamp on there like that and we'll be good. Well, I don't need this much. And I've got plenty inside. We'll cut that guy right there. There. Make sure before I start cutting back, that is where the ground wire is, yeah. Now you're gonna banana peel? I'm hoping. That is a, a big hope. My fingers are frozen. Come on, banana peel. Yeah. So this is 8-3 wire. Okay, so what that means is you got two. That is gonna be power. You got your neutral and you got your ground. I'm glad I set this up to where I can just do this now. Imagine me doing this when it was raining. <sighs> yeah, now that there's a little bit of a break in the weather, it's a good time to get it done. Yeah. And we haven't lost power yet, so that's great. No, so. But if this goes again, like how it's supposed to. How it's been. Yeah. I'm happy that we're getting this done. Yes. You and me both definitely going to give us a lot of peace of mind. Come on. Jump only. Come on. Come on. Hee hee. <laughs> <laughs> you know you were thinking it. I was. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do, now that I've got these all stripped and ready, I'm going to mess with this ground. This green screw right here represents ground. This is grounding out the actual box as well as the equipment being used. So, and that goes back to the main panel and everything gets grounded out. Next step is doing the hot and the neutral. All right, so just looking at it, you can see the brass color brass color chrome brass that's hot so I'm going to bring this to here and it doesn't matter which one red or black so you see how long that is if you expose that that right there could cause an arcing between wires and that's an electrical hazard you don't want that so make sure that that's cut to length exactly. I did a little bit more just because of the way that the bolt cutters cut, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get a good cut and even contact everywhere. So I'm gonna go right about there. Let's see now, we do not want this sticking out. It is fully buried in there. So, because I've got the length here already, and I want to do this rapidly and speedily, I'm going to come over here, figure out what that length is, and I'm going to cut it to that length. Now they're ready. X. Power. All right, 
now the fun part getting this wiring to sit in its home. <laughs> wasn't too bad nope that wasn't bad at all that guy's it that makes me happy that's a perfect perfect height generator will end up being right here with the lean two we'll be able to plug in plug in and we even have this uh, grounding rod in here we can even ground off the generator. We got a few things left to do inside the house to connect everything to finish making it all work. Yes. But by the time that we're done, if we do lose power, we should be able to come out here, turn the generator on, plug it in, and then we'll have almost everything inside the basement running. All right, so we are back inside. I'm gonna take you guys over this product that we bought. This is what we purchased so we can run our house or a couple of things in our house <laughs> off of generator power. I have already installed what I need on the outside. I have not finished it up on the inside. It comes with this nice whole bunch of wires that I get to. <laughs> get into this box here so it's pretty nice and clean though um, I've got it coming out from that gray flexible EMT into this transfer switch open this up you got the 20 amp uh, breakers that I wanted to do this box actually I can put uh, two 30 amps right here or a double 30 amp if I need to so that's pretty nice 20 amps in here this is where we're gonna be pulling and uh, getting all these tied in to here this is for backup power. This is, you need to make sure that your food isn't gonna go spoiled, you know? You're gonna make sure that you ain't gonna freeze in the temperatures of, you know, winter. So this is that kind of thing. It's not gonna be able to run your whole, whole house. This is for emergencies only and to get you by when the time that you don't have any power, so. Before I uh, turn off the main power, I wanna say this right here is not hooked up to the main power. This is actually hooked up to our Blue Yeti. It's our battery bank. I'm gonna have that on. I should be able to flip this big guy. Whoo! I'm just going to... Like a tooth, just wiggle back and forth. <laughs> so now that I've got that piece out, I can get this wired all feeding through here so i want to be extra careful and cautious of where this wire is coming for a couple of things one i don't really want it touching that yes the power is off but i don't want to risk anything <laughs> last thing i need is my butt to get lit up yeah that's the last thing i need to that would be bad it up so first things first I'm gonna get this neutral in I don't really go for the ground but it's just calling my name the neutrals calling your name yes it is so I'm gonna just loosen this neutral bar this guy's gonna come up and go in to so this neutral bar spot right here I've got that neutral in. Let's get this ground in. I'm gonna feed this guy in and through. Just like that. Oh, 
Let's grab the sucker. So red goes to the breaker. All right, so we have undone this. All we gotta do is get this black wire free. Okay, there's that black wire. So now we gotta get this red one on that in place. Now this is gonna go into this guy. Okay, confirm. A. There's that. Okay. Now we need to find A on here, which is going to be one of these two 10 gauge ones, which is this one. This one we need to tie up to this guy and just fold over. All right, one, one out of six. So basically I've got to do this over and over and over and over again, but it is red to the breaker, black to the main feed for that breaker what normally was all right that makes any sense so what was normally on that 20 was a black wire you take the black wire that they supply connect those two together the red that they supply that is correlated because they're both a's are going to be that's now going to this breaker so what that does is when you transfer the power from the breaker area it will feed the power to there and when it's offline it won't and when it's online it's there so we have a transfer switch right here that will individually do those and it's not going to back feed into the power company so All the wires are hidden, gone, none. Everything's off. Main power's on. Let's just start flipping some of these switches. Everything should flip on. Everything is good to go. Come over here. I have all of these over to the line side. And as you notice, every breaker in here is off. That doesn't matter. Those breakers are for when we turn on the generator. So what's going on right now is we're using these breakers in here, feeding to the red, to these guys, that's feeding also to the black. But it's going red, coming over here, going to that line side, following that black wire back to the black to continue the loop. You're so smart, babe, good job. Hey. I can't take full credit for this one. This one, Country Road here over there, up the way right there, they actually found it, installed it first. And I was looking at something similar and everything else and I was very curious on it because it just wasn't making sense in my brain. I'm like, wait, hold up. You're, you're telling me that it's not gonna backfeed. I'm like, how, how is that ha happening? Finally got to dive into theirs when they got it and dived into their brain and figure out what they were and it's a really perfect, perfect purchase for what we need. It's awesome. So thank you, Anthony, over at Country Road Care for uh, reminding me I need to get this guy installed. Shameless plug right there. Country Road Care, go subscribe, yep. send last, the love. This last power outage, they were perfectly fine. They just plugged right into theirs right here, which 
you can ha mount this outside and it has like a plug area right here where you can plug into since all of my stuff's inside i had to warm it to where i can plug it in outside <laughs> well but you made it work baby it works you made it work i'm really happy only time will tell when uh you know we really need to turn on that generator and test it out i'll try it here uh probably tomorrow when the sun is out and whatnot yeah, because it's all dark outside now. It's already dark. Yeah. And I ain't freezing my booty off unless I absolutely need to. But I'm glad I got this because now it's only for a little bit that I need to freeze my butt off. Good when job, the power's babe. Out. Good job. That's pretty cool. Uh, thank That's you so out. much for all of that. That was a lot of work. Honey, you did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? If we do lose power, we should be all right to just fire up the generator. Everything, like necessity wise, is going to work for us. Food won't rot. We'll stay nice and warm. Um, we'll have lights turned on. So we should be good to go. Um, our right friends right. just got here, though. We actually have some company hanging out with us tonight. Yes. And I would love for you guys to uh, come and join us. So let's go hang out. Let's go hang out. Yeah. You'll we'll never try. guess who just showed up. Come on to come on come on with the come out come on <laughs> all the way from florida and back again bro yes eight days of non-stop was happening come eight. on but you're back i'm back and uh the winter storm has welcomed you <laughs> yes yes and also the one that y'all had while i was gone welcomed me last night when i got back <laughs> so. hey gary's got your back homie yes 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 it is what it is but i got my fam they took care of me while i was gone so it's all good in the hood come on speaking of fam you brought some more fam over here yes i brought my niece and my nephew and their kids here to come on mountain so now they are a fixture of arkansas hey well what's going on What's up, guys? All right, introduce yourselves. I'm Lissa. And I'm Mike. And you guys got some kiddos that are already yep. making friends with Hello. our kiddos. Yeah, this is Talon and Jacob. Hi, guys. They're they're hanging out. Hi, guys. And Serenity is over there yeah. with her. <laughs> yep, with Scarlett. They're already bestest friends, <laughs> already doing their thing. So David tells me you guys are starting a YouTube channel now that you guys are living on Come On Mountain. Yep. Yes. We uh, we just started last night, actually. We are the Drifting Dreamers 5. Woo! Okay, I'm going to put another shameless plug, friends, right there. Go show them some love and support. They're new to the area, and I guarantee you're going to be seeing a whole lot of them. So check out them. Check out their story. But for now, I'm going to feed you guys. Ooh, I'm going to get yeah. you guys some food. we got to treat you right. I like that. Yeah. So... We've been dealing with this power situation, turning it off, turning it on, turning it off, turning it on, and I have not gotten to cook dinner yet, so I'm going to start working on that right now, and you guys are in for another Cooking with Mel. Let's get it on. All right, y'all, so for tonight's dinner, I am making an easy Instapot chili. This dish is super easy, and it's sure to feed the masses. So first things first, you take about six cups of dried pinto beans, and you just pour them right inside that Instapot. Next, we're going to take equal parts of water, another six cups, and put it right on top of the pinto beans. Next, I'm going to take a can of petite diced tomatoes. I'm using the extra large can, of course, Walmart brand, spare no expense. As soon as that's in there, I'm going to take a bag of frozen pepper and onion blend. Drop that in there. Can't forget the taco seasoning. I take three giant heaping spoonfuls of that taco seasoning. This is really where all the flavor comes from and you just put it right there on top of the peppers and onions. Give it a nice little stir, making sure that it mixes all together with all that liquid. Now I got a frozen pound of ground beef. You just take it and plop it in there, frozen and all. And then you add another frozen log of sausage. Add the lid, make sure it's nice and tight. Select beans on the Instapot. Make sure the pressure is on high pressure. And I cooked mine for about an hour and 20 minutes. Once you set that timer, you are good to go. I also whipped together a quick loaf of bread in my new bread maker, so that way we could literally break bread with our new friends. The kids really enjoyed the other kids' company. They played board games, watched movies together, and then shortly after, dinner was ready. We served dinner to the kids. We also ate dinner ourselves. We shared a lot of good conversation and had a lot of laughs. We're really excited to have some new friends here on the mountain, and it was sad when it was time for them to go. But we know it won't be long until we see them again. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. 
He said he'll save that yep. bottle for when we come over. Sis. It was nice meeting you guys. Can't wait to hang out more. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. We're excited for our, our future adventures. I'm Thank super you. excited that you guys are here. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Dinner Thanks. was absolutely delicious. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm happy to feed you guys. Welcome to the family. <laughs> David, thanks for uh, coming and hanging out. Yes, ma'am. Pretty usual. Happy you're back. Me too. Uh, 